Hello and welcome back to another Group Iron Man episode. So last video I started on Giant's Foundry and it's been pretty easy to learn. I'll admit it's not quite as fun as I was hoping it would be, but it shouldn't be too hard to grind it out for a little bit. I'm at 82 smithing and I need 87, so it's just a few levels. Also in between videos I did a farm run and I got 94 farming. I know I've been saying like almost every video like I'm gonna do Artie Elite soon or I'm gonna do it this video but I'm actually gonna do it this video for real this time. I guess I just don't realize like how long the videos go on because I usually don't edit the videos until like the end and then I realize like oh this video I thought was gonna be like five minutes long but it's like 20 minutes and then I have to end the video there because I don't want want it to be too long and then I don't want to like take too long to upload the next video anyway. So I've been like slowly working towards the Artie Elite Diary but now this is like the last step because I have all of the other stats needed and everything. I just have to grind out 87 smithing and then I can get the Artie Elite Diary done and then I can finally go back to agility and get 99 like I wanted. Well I guess I need cooking levels too but really that's not not complicated but like all of these tasks that I have to do won't take too long once I actually have the stats for them so I'm just gonna be cooking and smithing in this video I guess I already explained everything last video so I guess there's not really much I'm really gonna record this video as far as like Giants Foundry stuff so I'll see you back when I get a level I guess did a bit of trouble brewing because Mudkip wants mature Greenman's ale in case he needs it for master clues. I do want to get all the trouble brewing stuff on my main someday, so I just used my main as the second player. Okay, the stuff is bought. I'm using two just in case one of the batches fails. When using the stuff on a batch of ale to mature it, you use it after the water and barley malt but before the last two ingredients. And now I just have to come back and see if my ale matures. Just took a break to do the Christmas event. It was very fun and cute. Shout out to this guy with a very funny name for giving me a few bonds. 84 smithing, 85 smithing. Just taking a break to get our quest capes back. 87 smithing. I have 15k points right now, so that's enough for quite a lot of stuff, but first I'm just gonna buy Kovac's Grog and get this diary task done so that I know that I like to have it done so I don't have to worry about it anymore because I'm kind of paranoid about like the boost running out right before I get the task done or something so I'm gonna do that first. I have to make the crossbow string here in Witchhaven. That's the first stage of the task. And now I have to drink my Kovax Grog and use this anvil to make Runite limbs. Now I just make the rest of the crossbow. And there's that diary task done. Okay, now that that's out of the way, I don't think I need Kovac's Grog for anything else, but I'll probably leave some points here just in case. And now I'm gonna buy the Smith's uniform. So each piece of this uniform provides a 20% chance to increase the speed of a smithing action at an anvil, and so in total it gives a 100% chance. And it also gives a 20% chance in Giant's Foundry to give increased progress on preforms. So basically, unlike some other skilling outfits that give increased XP when you wear them, this one just like speeds up the process, both smithing at an anvil and also smithing in Giant's Foundry. And it gives a 100% chance when you have the full outfit, so it's like guaranteed to speed up the process. So I'm just gonna buy the whole outfit, I guess. 
And now I have just barely under the amount I need for Kovax Grog, but if I need it again, then at least I know I don't have to do much Giant's Foundry to get it. Here's the outfit, looks pretty cool. And another thing is that you can combine the ice gloves with the Smith's gloves. So you get Smith's gloves eye, which kind of makes them have like a little bit of blue on them, that's cool. But basically this just combines the two gloves. <laughs> it's about what you expect, so you don't have to wear ice gloves when you do Giant's Foundry, and you can also use these for Blast Furnace, although the whole Smith's uniform doesn't really help with Blast Furnace. Okay, now that that's out of the way, I'm just gonna go complete the Artie Elite Diary. Okay, I'm in Castle Wars, and all I need to do is drink this Castle Wars brew, which boosts a lot of different stats. And I just have to go cast Ice Barrage on someone. I just have to like, cast it once for the diary. I think it has to be a successful cast though. Okay, done. Now I can just AFK for the rest of the game. Also, I remembered that I need 91 cooking for the Elite Diary, so I'm gonna have to get that. I mean, I could theoretically, like, boost with something, but if you want anything more than a level 1 boost, then it's more complicated because like I'd either have to get a stew or make a chef's delight, the like ale that boosts your cooking up to level 5, but I would still need to get one cooking level anyway. But Mudkip just gave me some raw sharks, so and it should be enough for the level I need, but if it's not then I can always just like go make wines or something. So I think I'll just go do this task after this game because although I could leave and since I have the diary task done, I actually want the tickets so I'm gonna stay here. And then after I do that task, I'll just go get 91 cooking and it should take me a while and I was hoping to get this video out sooner, but that's fine if it's like one day late. The match is over, I got three tickets because we won. First lap of the Artie course done. Mudkip gave me 20k sharks, so that's more than enough I need for the level. I have my cooking gauntlets and I'm here at the Hosidius kitchen, so hopefully I won't burn so many sharks. This should be enough for 93 cooking though, but you know, since I'm kind of a lower level, I'm gonna burn some, so. There's 91 cooking, so now I can go finish the last diary task. The first part of this task is done. Now I just have to cook one. And there's the task. Now the Artie Elite Diary is finally complete. Now I have the Artie Cloak 4 and this nice little antique lamp that I'm gonna use on prayer. Now that I have the Elite Diary done, the main reason I wanted to get it done was for the increased Marks of Grace doing the Arty Rooftop course. You get 25% more Marks of Grace while doing agility here. Normally Marks of Grace despawn after about 10 minutes, but because on this specific course, they only spawn in one place, and with the Artie Elite Diary done, they respawn so often that like it just stacks. Because if there's another mark that appears on top of the previous ones, then the timer gets reset. So I can just keep doing agility forever, like until I get six hour logged and not have to pick up the marks, as long as I'm not away from the computer for more than 10 minutes which is possible now with the 25 minute logout timer thing on rune light. So I'll just have to make sure I pick up my marks before I go AFK. But not only is it just like more convenient because I don't have to pick up the marks as often when doing agility, I can just like do agility and then whenever I feel like stopping then I'll pick up my marks but also I just get more marks which is nice for amylase or for future graceful outfits if I want to get more recolors. I guess that's also my first elite diary complete. Oh and also what else I get from the elite diary is 250 free noted pure essence every day from the wizard 
to the north. 50% more fish from the fishing trawler and Bert will automatically deliver 84 buckets of sand to my bank each day I log in. So that's nice. I'm getting free buckets of sand that I don't have to collect because I do want to get 99 crafting eventually so that'll help. A little bit at least. Anyways, I guess it's time to end this video since I completed the goal I set out to do. So here are my stats. Here is my character summary tab. And I once again have my quest cape back and my first elite diary complete. Although there's still one hard diary left that I have to complete and I know I can do. I just haven't gotten around to it. <laughs> and here's an update on the high scores. We are now rank 13. I think we were rank 16 like just a few days ago but both of us got a few levels and managed to get rank 13. And it looks like we're really close to 12 but it's just that we're like slightly less XP than this team. Well, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, friends. Before the video actually ends, I just wanted to show that I gave away all the prize money from the contest I hosted. Partially as proof that I actually did it because I feel like YouTubers do giveaways and never show them giving away GP in videos. And just because it's fun and wholesome and I thought you might enjoy it. Thanks everyone who participated, grats to all the winners. And of course big thanks again to Rosalina for donating 100 mil. Hopefully we can do another contest again sometime, this was really fun. As promised, I did give away 5 mil to a random stranger in free-to-play. I figured the best place to find genuine noobs is in free-to-play training areas, not like the GE or Lumbridge. Because that's what I did when I was a free-to-play noob, I just mined and trained combat and stuff. So I found this guy training on hobgoblins and gave him the money and he appreciated it. And it seems he's never been a member before and asked what it was like and stuff. Please forgive me, I think I may have gotten someone addicted to RuneScape because now he says he wants to grind for a bond. Anyways, that's all for the video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye lovelies.